I've known my next guest since he was 13 years old. He was on a show back in 2000 performing in front of a live audience. 24 years later, he's back. His new album coming out this month is called Had It All Wrong, but he did it just right because he's recording all of his songs right here in Texas. Joining us to share more is Will Carter with the Will Carter Band. Welcome back. Well, thanks for having me. You know, you gave away my age. Yeah, yeah, well, no, I gave away my <laughs> age is what we did. <laughs> yeah, right. But, well, you grew you up. You have an age. Yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. Good. I, I love this man, right? Okay, you, you grew up in a tight-knit family uh, on a farm in Katy, so great uh, work ethic, great values there, but you also had a passion, but you got to get your chores done first, and then you could pursue your passion. I did, and my dad was a big supporter of that because he was a big guy and thought I was going to be an athlete, but uh, <clears throat> my mom's beautiful, but she's not, she's like five foot three, weighs like 90 pounds, so uh, I didn't grow into the football player statue, but I did take to music at an early age, and he was a, a very big supporter of mine. In fact, the way I got on your show originally was one of your staff uh, was at a place where he was receiving treatment and saw the album that I made to raise money for the family when yeah, he got sick. Yeah, because he got sick. Treatment. And so I talked about earlier, I was saying, you know, you know music as therapy, but yeah, it's such a close knit a relationship with your dad. I mean, you trained horses, you milked goats, you tended crops, you were homeschooled, I so was. super tight with your family. Uh, and then you got news that your dad was sick. What was happening? Yeah, he was diagnosed with terminal cancer mm -hmm. uh, when I was 11, and he fought it for for two years. I lost my father when I was 13. And because of, you know, I remember when I put that album out to help raise money when he couldn't work, the last several months of his life, he would lay in bed and listen to that album 24 seven. Oh. It would, my mom would literally wake me up in the middle of the night and go, hey, I need another CD, you know? And uh, so seeing that it really gave me the motivation to, as tough as this industry can be, um, I feel like I owe it to myself to chase you know, my yeah. dream and my passions, but I also feel like I owe it to him too. And speaking of that passion, it started early on. You took to the first stage at three years old? That's right, uh, the Fantasy of Lights Festival in Sealy, Texas. <laughs> All right, and you picked up your first guitar win, and did you fall in love with it right away? I was, or was about it just 10, no I did. Um, you know, everybody knew me as the singer, and if you don't play an instrument, you know, what are you gonna do when you go somewhere and someone yeah. says sing a song? So, yeah, yeah, and being, you know, in the country music world, the guitar was sort of the, the default, right? Yeah, so Father's Day is coming up this weekend. For those of us who have lost our parents, uh, it can take on even more of a meaning, but this is still that connection to him. Well, what's awesome about it is it was a Father's Day uh, special back in, I think it was 2000 mm -hmm. when I was originally mm -hmm. here, so this is, Pretty cool, thanks for having me back. Absolutely, all right, your debut album, Good Bad Idea. I always love the titles of country <laughs> country uh, <laughs> albums and songs. Uh, Good Bad Idea, uh, you've been touring, you know, just gone to so many different places, two, up to 200 shows a year at times. All right. All over the US. Yeah, let's talk about your band members here. Okay, so in the fancy shirt, the one that I, I met five years ago when he was five years old. Right, right, no, right, right over here. He hasn't aged either. Yeah, right, right. So this is? Dylan Dostal. All right, Dylan. Uh, Jacob Lee. And the drums. This is Carlos, Jesus, Avila, Pineda. <laughs> Get them all in there, all right? Okay. And if you're going to be from in Venezuela. Texas, you got, oh, from Venezuela. From oh, Venezuela. Venezuela. you spent some summers in Venezuela. Maracaibo, Valencia, hola. La Gran Savannah, Margarita Island. You're from Caracas? Yeah. Okay, hola, como estas? Okay, and then uh, if you're going to be in Texas, you got to have a fiddle in the band. you got to have a Bino in the band. A Bino in the band, okay, right over here. So we, on the fiddle, we got Bino. All right, uh, so you got your new album out, and one of the things that was important to you was to um, record that album here in Texas. Now, why is that so important? We know a lot of times it's recorded, what, in Nashville or LA? So the first couple were that way. I, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're a Texas country group, and we play Texas country markets, which surprisingly is all over the U.S. Uh, we play Nebraska, um, Louisiana, we're going to Oklahoma, New Mexico, Colorado, Kansas. Um, but having that just Texas sound, um, people, there's a, there's a, there's a big market for it all over the country, not just in Texas. Yeah. And I'm blessed to be with a band that is the level of talent these guys are. They're not only fantastic live musicians, but they're also fantastic in the studio. Yeah. So this, and there's a difference. People don't understand that. There yeah. is when you come. So this whole album um, was, you know, we went in the studio like the old days where they press record and we played what we play on stage. So when you come to see a live show, you're hearing what you're hearing on the album, yeah. what you're hearing on the radio. Authentic uh, there. All right, Had It All Wrong is the title of your new album. Why do we title it Had It All Wrong? Because prior to doing it this way, I was doing it like every other artist did. You know, they would hire session musicians out of LA, out of Nashville, and then your your band would learn those songs and go perform them. And that's, that's kind of the norm nowadays. Um, but uh, in my opinion, that was the wrong way to do it. All right, so what can we expect from this album and what can we expect for your concert? Well, you can expect a good time at the concerts because yeah. we don't stand there and play music. Nobody stands still. You know, <laughs> we have a rule. If you watch the video of your concert and you can't tell what song it is without hearing it, yeah. just by looking at it, 
that they were doing something wrong. Yeah, and when you play your music, I mean, it makes you move. It's almost, it's like, you know, country is so cool right now because it, it's such a wide range. And it really is. Growing up with my, my parents' idea of country, it's kind of like the Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty, mm -hmm. Mississippi woman, Louisiana man, right? right. right. And which, is, which is fine, but it's so much more broad now that you bring in so many uh, more listeners, I think. It's got, you have a rock vibe to you as well. We, we do have a rock vibe. This guy plays at least 45 different genres of music. There's oh, an interview like, where he's There's 45 that. different genres? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, for tickets to see the Will Carter Band this Saturday, go to GreatDayHouston.com and we will connect you. They'll open for Wade Bowen at the Home Run Dugout in Katy at 7 p.m. But right now, here they are performing their single titled Had It All Wrong. <laughs> Trying to make wrong feel so right And hiding behind these walls of pride Something's gotta give but it ain't gonna be tonight Oh, and on the wind inside Chase